You read the title correctly, today is one of these cosmic videos in which I try doing at least once every season. So hello everyone, this is Chris and today I'm going to try and put as much time as I possibly can throughout this next week to get literally as much as I can done on this one spaceship. And I have no particular goals as to how much I want to get done, but I want to just try getting as much as I physically can done in this one singular video. It'd be kind of hilarious yet super depressing if I didn't actually get much progress on this video, but you know what you might might as well try your best at least. So to begin, what I did was I laid out a whole bunch of flooring for this one spaceship, and the entire flooring isn't necessarily laid out yet, but it is enough to at least work with what we have. But stupid question, what does every single spaceship's in known existence actually need to function? Okay, maybe a cockpit to control it, maybe supplies to keep it going, maybe thrusters. I'm talking about thrusters. And if I'm honest, I really don't feel confident in what I'm doing here. Like after I messed up that bit of scaffolding up there, I'm extremely worried that I'm gonna mess up something here. Rebuilding something like this wouldn't be like a three hour annoyance, it would take like probably at least a couple real life days to rebuild this whole thing. Me doubting myself isn't gonna stop me from working on this for a couple hours though. But if I mess things up now, then it is really gonna be a pain to have to fix it. Mainly because now we have this entire shell of the rocket ship all built up. Or the thrusters, not the rocket ship, the thrusters. And obviously it's not completely done, but it does have a most of the the upper part of it completed but i just keep doubting myself i just feel like i'm screwing something up somewhere and somehow okay before i continually doubt myself i'm gonna go back to what i'm comfortable with and that's just filling in these floors just for a minute though don't worry and i still have a little bit of beef with these villagers from last time but at least they helped me in getting the quartz i need the only problem though is i am fresh out of emeralds but that shouldn't be a problem because i have a whole bunch of gold i'm not really using right now so if we just trade up a whole bunch of this then we should get all the all the emeralds we're going to have to what does that sound i'm, I'm not i'm not going crazy is that a person somewhere hello hello is it is one of these villagers talking? Maybe I'm like developing an earworm or something like that. Hopefully not, because over time that might get really, really annoying. But earworms are worry number two, because worry number one is actually working on this flooring right here. Okay, actually this is worry number two and that's worry number one. So I guess earworms are moved down to worry number three. But building this quartz floor now was probably a bad idea because I've been working on this floor for over the course of two days and we're still not even completed with it yet. Because if we take to the skies for a second, you can kind of see where I was going with and yeah i have to complete all this we're doing up here and i have to complete filling it in over in this direction over here and the villagers i have certainly help in getting the quartz i need but it's still not a fast process so i think before i complete this floor i'm going to need one more villagers sadly and two some farms to actually trade with villagers to get the emeralds needed to get the quartz you know working on this one booster doesn't seem as bad now at least i have all the materials for these boosters so i guess enough waiting around let's get back to work and finish up this one booster we were working on couple days later and I think it's safe to say that we've done more than just that one booster we were working on yeah essentially the vast majority of the back of this one spaceship has now been pretty much completely built in and I guess the only reason why we haven't done the other boost yet is because we're actually using lapis for this one uh, booster right here and I didn't even finish it I was going to use like blue and light blue glass panes but I guess 
generally speaking, you get the uh, the rough idea as to what I'm going for. And honestly, what we did as is could contend her to be a mega episode, but we are still only just a few minutes into this one video, and yet we only have about a day and a half left to film this. Maybe specifically go back to try filling in the rest of this floor right here. Before the floor work, I think I've been noticing the fact that some of these villagers I had down here are vanishing. Like, it feels as though about half the villagers that I had in here are just completely gone. For a moment, I thought like every single villager is completely gone, but I think only the ones I've been actually trading with, apart from uh, this guy right here, is actually still somehow intact so what i'm trying to say here is uh my trading system isn't going to do the job in the day and a half we have left <laughs> especially since we've yet to build up any mega farms to trade with villagers but thankfully cosmic has filled up with a whole bunch of talented people and one of these talented people puffy actually built up this farming system right here with what appears to be quite a decent amount of stock and he said that because he has no serious plans on what to do with this stuff he said I'm allowed to actually take some of it and also I hear that Eva has tons and tons of different types of villagers which could trade up these pumpkins and melons so hopefully with puffies and Eva's villagers and farms and things like that I should be able to get all the quartz I need and when we do this I want to talk about live streaming because live streaming is something I've wanted to at least try doing for what feels like forever but I think Probably because of COVID or something like that, I've just not been able to do that, but, but it's something I've been considering to at least try out. And I do know at least a couple dozen other YouTubers who do live stream on a pretty regular basis, and I'm considering might as well try to live stream, and if I don't like it, then I won't do it again, and if I like it, then who knows, maybe we could do it more and more. I really hope this is enough for what we need, but again, Puffy and Eva absolute lifesavers for this one project and i have some ideas as to what i could do to repay them but we'll we'll wait on that for a little bit in the case that we still don't have enough quartz maybe it's best if we just focus on the outside hey that just about worked out and if it's not made clear i'm just focusing on this one side because eventually we'll have to duplicate it on this side also skeleton horses but i guess for right now we could actually fill in the rest of this with the quartz we have and now that that's pretty much done what are these sides actually for well i believe both these sides are actually going to be used for the actual entrances to this one huge spaceship don't ask how you're actually going to get up to this spaceship but this will be the main place where you get on you remember how i said earlier on that i probably have enough resources to work on this one spaceship well now that i'm tapping into my sea lantern and polish andesite reserves even more i'm starting to second guess myself oh and that actually reminds me so you remember when i dug this huge hole where i thought i'd have enough resources to build the entire spaceship or something like that well I'm almost completely out of all the stone I've actually managed to gather in here. I have plenty of cobblestone, plenty of deep slain, stuff like that, but pretty much the majority of all the stone we managed to get from this one uh, digging site is almost entirely gone. Guess it kind of tells you how big this spaceship really is then. Speaking of which, we got the whole framework of this whole entranceway done, but obviously an entrance wouldn't be an entrance without, you know, walls and other types of things on a structure to actually have it be the entrance. At that point, you might as well just fly around the entrance. And to prevent that, let's just race up these walls. And said walls are tapping into our lapis block reserves a little bit, but thankfully not too much but one thing we do have a problem with is that i'm essentially out of polished andesite again remember how around about the beginning of this one episode i was boasting about the fact that i had plenty of resources now i am scraping at the bottom of the barrel and using what little i have left how many times have i come back to a trading center it, it feels like we're genuinely gonna reach up to like the, the triple digits or something and coming back to one of these things oh uh, well this wasn't what i was expecting when coming through this portal uh-oh uh oh. Hey, it's not my fault you're here. You, you're the one who came through. Anyways, at least these villagers saved me a trip to go mining for this stuff. Like, I hate how buggy and finicky these things are, but when they actually do work, they do work pretty well. And about an hour or so of trading layer, and now we have enough polished andesite and quartz to do at least a little bit more progress today. And if I'm honest, I literally have no idea how long this video is going to be. Like, Typically, I like filming and editing simultaneously at least the first couple of minutes to get a general idea as to how it's going to feel, and then I do all the editing afterwards, so literally not a clue how long this video is going to be. I guess that's why you see certain cosmic videos longer or shorter than the others, because literally no idea how much I'm filming and literally no idea how long it's going to be in the end. Oh great, and just when I thought skeleton horses were enough party on this one ship, you are not 
invited. Wait a minute. I just realized I can't go to the training center anymore. So unless I get like a bucket of milk or if I wait until this thing goes off, I can't go to any more uh, training centers, which technically means the resources we have right here are extraordinarily finite now. Maybe we can work on this structural framework over here and actually connecting it over to this wall we're working on. It'd still be ambitious and it'd still be actually getting things done. I thought I got rid of you all, but I guess one of them managed to slip through. Anyways, now that I managed to get all this done, we can actually work on maybe the the roofage on this one part. And surprise, surprise, it's being built out of quartz. And the big issue about this one part of the ceiling is that the vast majority amount of it is built out of quartz. You know, one day I should probably build a base that's just completely made out of things that's extraordinarily easy to, to get. Or at least one that's not completely built out of slabs. <clears throat> Fine, instead of holding down right trigger, I'll just click it every single time. Instead of me not having to think too much about where I'm placing the blocks, I'll actually think about where I place it, and great. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I ran out of quartz slabs, which meant I only was able to do this amount of the ceiling. And honestly, it's probably best if we don't do anything with uh, with smooth end of sight or with, uh, with quartz right now, because getting more and more of that is just gonna take too much time. But doing things such as patching up these smaller holes around the place shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's literally just cobblestone not necessarily the hardest block to get in the game and as i say that i come to the realization that there's quite a lot of uh, patch up jogs we have around the place like just look at all these holes we have all over the place okay to be honest this side is sort of expected to have lots of holes but at least on this side that's kind of unacceptable Jeez, all these stone bricks right here have to be upper slabs you know in hindsight i probably should have done this as i was building this but Unfortunately, I didn't. It'd be nice if I was sometimes smart enough to catch these things. Well, at least you don't need to really worry about that much anymore because I believe all the small little holes we had on this one side is pretty much fill fully filled in. Just ignore the couple little holes I did miss here and there though. And I think because of my dwindling supplies of resources, I'm probably gonna call in here in terms of building today. But geez, Looking at what we actually built compared to what we actually started with, it's vastly, vastly different from where we actually started earlier in this video. And I do plan relatively soon to do another mega video where I work a whole lot more on this one spaceship because I don't really want to drag out the process of building this one thing for a long, long, long time. So expect another mega video like this at some point relatively soon. Probably when I have more than enough resources this time. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.